and now our next step is to take this foundation wall up here and have it follow this profile. So we can do this in a couple of ways. I can actually pick on this this bottom wall and I can go in here and say edit profile and then and then go in and actually edit the profile and that's a that's a quick way and that's actually a really good way but I'd rather do it a little trickier way just to kind of show you some some other ways of doing it. So we could go edit profile and edit the profile of that wall um, like that that would be one way of doing it but I'm gonna do it a different way I'm gonna go back to my section what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split the wall I'm going to use my split tool by going to modify and I'm gonna use my split tool so I'm going to split this wall here okay I'm gonna split it here don't worry if you don't get it right on I'm gonna split it again here in fact you won't get it right on and split it here escape escape so now I have a little piece of wall that is um, here okay by using that split tool okay let's go to a 3d view it might be more visible okay I've got a piece of wall here by using that split tool I've got a piece of wall here and here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this little piece of footing that got split with that delete these little footing guys I'm not gonna need them so I'm just gonna go in one by one and delete these guys okay now how is my edge yeah that's gonna line up I just need to close the gap so let's go back to that elevation line okay now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this wall and pull it down to there I could lock it I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna take this wall pull it down to there okay I'm gonna take this wall pull it down to there okay now I, I need to close up my gap here okay so I'm gonna take um, take this wall here and I'm going to let's use my align tool okay let's go modify and let's say align to here um, and I want to find that wall let's just pick this okay align here this okay align to here this okay align to here this click out escape escape okay now I've got my walls aligned down inside of there okay and now I'm going to take um, this guy and I think I'm just going to add in a piece of footing for there okay let's go to my 3d view okay and let's go to our home tab foundation let's go back footing and let's add in a piece of footing for that guy oh that worked the only thing is I didn't check and see what footing size it was and it went to a 36 by 12 let's just pick on here and change that to be the right size clicking out okay so now if we click on here okay and we shift middle mouse button okay there's my strip footing okay now I need to change the material of that so when I do my join geometry um, marries up nicely and gets rid of all the seam lines in there so we'll come back in our next lesson and change this to be cast in place concrete